Hey guys, it's me again. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk, John. <laughs> So it is Thursday morning. Um, I just woke up. I had a rough time sleeping last night. John was out of town until like 3 a.m. And I just never sleep well when he's gone. And the weather was gross and he was traveling a distance. So I just, ugh, my anxiety gets ahead of me. But um, yeah, I thought I would vlog again today. And I'm really excited because today's vlog is being sponsored by Legacy. If you're not familiar with Legacy, they are not only America's largest at-home fertility clinic for, for people with sperm, but they also uh, do like sperm counts and testing as well. Kind of like other at-home fertility kits that I've done with like my female stuff, but this is for the male form. So I am really excited because a few reasons. One, I just, any time that technology advances, the affordability for people who are family planning and convenience wise uh, to do that themselves just really excites me because I think everyone deserves to be able to plan their lives and their futures and their families. Legacy does also accept HSA and FSAs as well, so that's pretty neat. But I'm also excited because John and I just closed our chapter on our family planning. As some of you guys know, if you followed me for a while, I actually got my tubes tied after Kaya was born. So I would have been in my mid twenties at that point. Well, yeah, Kaya just turned 10. I would have been 25 when I got my tubes tied. And that was a choice that John and I made because we had our girls and we had our boy and we just felt like our family was complete. But because I was so young when I got my tubes tied, um, we've had a few pregnancy scares since then where my period has been super late or just things like that. And the more I read about uh, post-tubal pregnancies, especially multiples, I, the more I kind of was like, maybe we should make sure to m make this decision final, final, final. John actually did get a vasectomy. When did you get that, John? October. In October. Um, it was really no fuss, no muss. He went in for a, the, you know, first appointment just to make sure everything was like okay and that like he wasn't gonna freak out um, if they did it in office. And he of course handled it like a champ because John's pretty good about that stuff. And um, then we made another appointment and he went in and he got it done. It didn't take that long. I, I know he was really uncomfortable the first day, but would you say you were in like severe pain, John? no severe pain. So he actually, after the whole thing was said and done, cause he was off playing volleyball like the next week and back to work the next day. He was like, I don't understand why guys don't want to do this. It's not that big of a deal. So I will say that his recovery and what he went through looked so much like easier. And I only say, cause he said this too. Then when I got my tubes tied, I was down for the count for a couple days and I couldn't lift for a week and I felt bloated and gross and crampy for a month. So I would say if you have the choice, try to convince your husbands or your, you know, men with sperm to do that. But John was really like, it was not that big of a deal. I'm interested in seeing if he takes this test. We did get our test in the mail. I was going to open it with you guys. It does say use within seven days and it says to ship out between Monday and Thursday. So that's why I'm like looking like this because I was kind of unexpectedly got it yesterday and I want to get it out on my way to work today. I'm going to make John really quickly do this because he hasn't dropped off his first deposit yet uh, to the lab because he's supposed to do two deposits to make sure everything is like done um, So, because they don't want any live sperm still swimming around. So they test it the first time and if there's some live still, then they'll test it again. Uh, so I thought it would be interesting to see kind of the process and if he doesn't have any sperm left, kind of how they tell me that because it is a very sensitive thing. Here's what the kit looks like. So when you open up your kit, you get, it looks like this. It's got a little barcode to scan to register and everything. I'm not gonna show you guys that just in case. So I'll pull that down. Then the box looks like this. And then when you open it, you get all of this. So you get your semen analysis instructions, you get the ship back label, and then you get, I believe this is of the testing kit and the medium. So it comes with like a little cooler gel pack in here to keep the medium cold, uh, but the medium is actually good, unrefrigerated uh, for seven days. If you do have any reason why the medium like gets ruined or anything, you do get one complimentary, um, one sent out if something messes up. So if you need to redo it and then you get all of this stuff in here. So I think he goes in here and then I put this in here and then I ship it back all together like so. So I'm gonna have him do this real quick and while he's doing that, I will kind of talk to you guys a little bit more about Legacy. 
yeah, no pressure or anything, but yeah, you gotta do it right now. <laughs> you gotta do this two more times for the lab anyways, John. So this is what the medium looks like. I'm gonna go mix this with his sample and then we'll place it in this kit. I just got through most of the registration. Now it's asking me, um, when I'm going to send it out. So I don't need to watch the video because we've already done it, but it's nice that they do have. Um, it's been about five. No, that's a lie, it's been four. Bye bye, little Johns. Well, possibly little Johns. Hopefully dead Johns. <laughs> if the vasectomy worked right. That sounded morbid, but you guys know what I mean. All right, so John's specimen is all packaged up. Tamper-proof label is on. I just need to stick a thing of tape on there just in case. But that was pretty darn easy. I would say that's a lot easier than the test that I had to take at home, which isn't that just kind of how it happens. It was super simple, which actually, when you guys know, when it comes to certain people with sperm, they tend to make things a bigger deal than it has to be. And any amount of like uncomfortableness or extra effort sometimes scares them away from doing stuff that they're not 100% comfortable doing anyways. Um, like at least that's my person with sperm, my husband. <laughs> um, you know, the going to a lab and having to deposit something or drop something off or, you know, things like that. Like it's just, I think when men talk about fertility, it's not as comfortable as when women do. Not saying that women talk about it as, you know, super well, but I think people with ovaries tend to talk about this subject a little bit easier than people with sperm. And so with that being said, I don't think it's easy for any person to hear that they aren't able to do the things that nature says that we should do. And so I think it's a little bit harder sometimes for certain people to come to that or to find those answers. And so the fact that this is so easy made it a lot easier to get John to do it. And I mean, John even kind of before when I was filming this kind of put up some resistance to it. That's him not even needing to technically know answers like some people who t use this um, service. So I guess what I'm trying to say is thank you Legacy for making such an easy way to do this with the least amount of uncomfortableness because I think that will help so many people and so many couples as they go through this really hard and uncomfortable path of family planning because not it's not easy for everyone. So um, Legacy not only does at-home fertility testing but also like I mentioned they are America's number one online sperm clinic. So if you wanted to freeze your sperm or your specimen uh, for later use, because again, family planning, you may not be ready to do that right now. You may be a man that's in your early 20s, just kind of thinking about family and you want to just make sure and take that into your control, which more power to you, like awesome. Or maybe you're transitioning and you want to make sure that you have your um, sperm on hand in case, you know, whatever your reason, um, Legacy can work with you to do that and kind of guide you through the process. Yeah, if you'd like to check out Legacy, I will leave a link uh, to their website underneath this video and also on the screen. Thank you so much, Legacy, for not only giving us the opportunity to try this out because I'm always interested because I do have a lot of friends in this stage of their lives still, so it's nice to be able to be a resource for them, uh, but also for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Speaking of family planning, uh, one of the reasons why John and I, you know, made the decision to stop having children and took the proper steps to do that uh, is because we have a lot of kids. John just left to go pick up Wyatt and his friends. We do carpool. He actually is in exam week this week, so he gets out at 11.05 um, and goes in at 7 for his exams. He's exempt on Monday, though, so he doesn't have to take or go to school on Monday. I have to start getting ready for work. Ava's at home. She's got work later. We got kids in all different areas of their lives right now. And um, us being able to manage our time and our schedules together while both working is made possible because we did make sure to plan out our family in the best way they, that we could. You guys know I have children that were not planned and I have a child that was planned. <laughs> I am 100% a good example of, you know, 
why it's important to have a rough plan of kind of what your family is gonna look like if you can. These girls down here are just chilling, waiting for me to leave. some liquid IV in because I have been just feeling really run down lately. I don't know why. I think it's just because I haven't been sleeping very well. The holidays tend to stress me out a tiny bit. I've been super busy with a lot of stuff for work and um, with the kids. So I'm getting a little bit of extra stuff added to my diet will make me feel a little bit better. Hi, hey John. I didn't know you are in the bathroom. What are you doing? You were in the bathroom? Yeah, I was in the bathroom. It's literally a human response to needing to go to the bathroom. Why is that embarrassing? John's not used to talking about his bodily fluids on camera like I am, <laughs> as you guys know, and now he's slinking away embarrassed. You know, people are going to think that you hate me in these videos because you never show your face anymore. Love you. Love you. I'm leaving. Bye, I love you. I don't get a kiss goodbye. John's about to be a proud BGSU parrot. Go Falcons. We have a almost college student. Well, technically she's already in college, but she'll be officially, officially in college oh, in a couple months, which is so crazy scary to me. Um, I think I need a jacket because it's a little bit, well, it's warm outside, but it's getting colder. Yeah, I was like sweating and I had the window open in the bathroom. All right, bye, sweetie, love you. <sighs> All the noises that come out of me. All right, jacket, John sperm, my work bag, phone, keys, wallet. Okay, so I think I need to desensitize John again to the internet. You know, as I've grown here and my, as my family has grown here online in front of all of you in the last 11, almost 12 years, I th it's been really easy for me to become really open and just honest about everything and kind of I don't care attitude. But for my family members who didn't choose this, you know, they didn't ask to be on camera and stuff like that, it was a lot harder for them to adjust to like sharing themselves and John I think got to a good point where he was like I don't really care like do whatever show me and then I took that long break and there's been so many other long breaks in between my videos that I think he's just like back to his like when we started off years over a decade ago of just kind of being a little bit uncomfortable especially again talking about his bodily fluids which I, I'm so used to because I just you know I share my menstrual cup videos and all of that so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to be a little sensitive to that, but he is a trooper for letting me do all of this and put him through all of this because Lord knows, again, he did not ask for this and he's been super supportive my entire time online. He does draw a line at some things, however, but yeah. And honestly, I'm glad. I feel like there needs to be that balance in like vlogging households because I feel like when there's not somebody kind of reining it in saying like, hey man, that's too much, you kind of lose sight of your family and privacy and I don't ever want that to happen which is why I've been really cautious here and what I share and how much I share and all of that. So anyways, this is not John's full-time career being an influencer and it's not even mine anymore. Yeah, I just need to remind myself that and maybe even remind some of you guys that. All right, the deposit has been uh, deposited. <laughs> it is midnight, <laughs> just kidding, it's only seven o'clock, but it's so dark out. Um, we are nearing like, I think to the like the year, shortest day of the year. So 
I am staying positive and saying that, you know what, after the next like month, I think, it'll be longer days, more sun. So we're heading back into spring and summer soon. But yeah, it's seven o'clock, I'm headed home. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. That's one thing that I'm like not loving since returning back to outside of the housework is just the juggling of like dinner planning and groceries <laughs> um, along with getting off work at 7, sometimes 7.30. It can just be kind of stressful and annoying, but I think John is ordering pizza tonight because the 49ers are playing and he wants to watch them and I didn't want them to have to wait up for me for dinner. So I think he's ordering pizza and then tomorrow I'll make spaghetti because I got stuff to make spaghetti. Not that you guys care, but this is just kind of my life. Do you hear him whining? <gasps> There they are. Hi girls, come on inside. Come on, whoop. Inside, Georgie. Good girl. Hi. Hi. You're so excited to see me. What is, what is on your fingers? Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I put the Christmas presents on the Christmas pile of stuff. How's school? Good. Yeah? Why are you so full of beans? Thing from your Remember that letter? Oh, good. Remember that letter where it said I didn't get into gifted? Uh huh. Miss Rose said I did. You did get into gifted? Yeah. A little segue, because I'm random. I just want to show you guys Alicia, who is my jeweler friend. I feel like she's a friend now, but she I met her through, um, she redid my wedding rings. Long story short. Also, did this necklace for me which I absolutely love. I don't know if I've shown it here yet, but I feel weird about showing jewelry too much here, but this is <laughs> my old engagement ring, uh, Solitaire, and she reset it for me so that I could still have it, which was really special to me. But I wanted to support her, and I also wanted to get this new charm that she just came out with for my niece, who is like obsessed with like farm animals and chickens and all that kind of stuff. She herself has chickens. But anyways, her 16th birthday is coming up, it's not until fall, but I was just really excited when I saw this new charm that Alicia did, so I bought it anyways for her for Christmas slash her 16th birthday. But anyways, that just came in the mail today, so I thought I would show you guys. Hers is in sterling silver. Um, I didn't know what kind of jewelry my niece likes, but she's very into the pioneer clothing type of thing. So I loved this charm, and I thought she would love it too because it looks very kind of antique -y. So. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a chicken on the front, which is just adorable. There you go. And then on the back, it has an egg. So my niece can wear it either way, but I just loved how pretty it was, A, and I loved how just like, I don't know, I think it's gonna fit my niece's style and personality so well, because she really does like love that pioneer clothing and pioneer cottage like, I don't even know how to explain it. You would have to know her to understand, but anyway, so that just came and it's beautifully made and I'm so excited to give it to my niece for Christmas slash her 16th birthday, which isn't until September, I think. I say slash 16th birthday because I didn't buy any of my other nieces or nephew anything really big just because I have, I think, seven nieces and nephew and it just... I can't spend $100 on every single kid. Like, that's just, I'm not a Rockefeller. I can't do that. I saw this and I really wanted to support Alicia for all of the stuff that she's helped me with. And also, it just fits so perfectly for my niece. So, anyways, I'm calling it her 16th birthday gift, but it is what it is. So, a little bit has changed down here since you guys have last been down here. I bought myself a squat rack for Christmas. We're kind of limited in space down here just because our ceilings are really low. So I was limited on what kind of rack I could get. So I did a half rack just because it has everything I need. It's got a pull up bar, it's got safety arms. Um, and that's really, that's all I need. This actually fit into the space quite well. I got it when it was on sale as well. So that kind of helped, but the only issue is I need to buy some more horse stall mats, which some of you guys asked us what kind of mats we use down here in our gym. Because there's horse stall mats. So they, we got them from Tractor Supply. They're on the expensive side in regards to 
they're just expensive but when you think about how much like gym mats like those little tiles cost they actually are really af more affordable than those and I think that and I think they're more heavy duty and they don't move around because they are so gosh darn heavy when we move these down I bought them online and picked them up and we had to call our friend to come over and help us drag them down the stairs because they're ungodly heavy and we have one two three four five six of them so um they were yeah they were a haul to get into the car and then also to get into the house and down the stairs but unfortunately i need to go and get at least two or four more i would say four uh because we moved two of them out of this space right here to put them underneath the squat rack so i could start using that but what's happening is i need to come out two more where the bench is because I have that little lip which can be really dangerous if I'm not paying attention to where I'm walking when I'm stacked with weight. So uh, yeah, I am very excited with the way our gym is turning out. It's been almost two years since we started putting it together. I have my cardio area and I have my weight area and it's working out really well for me. Oh, and I have my dog bed area because Nuna likes to stay down here and keep me company. I was gonna share a little bit more of my workout. Not that you guys really care. <sighs> but of course, for my battery died, and then my daughter got me a new battery, and then my memory card was full. So I'm emptying that card, entered a new card. <sighs> Done with my workout, however. <sighs> Gotta calm down. Oh. I'm gonna dump this card real quick. It's about nine o'clock. I need to eat. I am so hungry. This is why my card was still full of stuff from last summer. Not this past summer, but the summer before that. <laughs> um, but, whew, I'm tired. Um, I'm gonna empty this card. Eat some pizza, drink lots of water, get the kids to bed. And I'm gonna wrap some presents because again, I don't know what I ordered. <laughs> I got into this little bit of a frenzy about a wee, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, and I just started ordering a bunch of stuff feeling like I was behind on gifts, and then I kind of lost track of what I had ordered, and I just needed to make sure I didn't overspend or under buy certain kids. So yeah, you know that struggle of being a parent and making sure everything is fair. Um, yeah. Oh, but I feel better. I always feel better when I work out and I always need to hold on to this feeling for the next time because I never technically want to go downstairs and work out. <sighs> but I know I have to and I should. But yeah. Import started and now this battery is dead. I don't know what's going on with my life. <laughs> Showered, eating some pizza. Even John are working something on her computer, I have no clue. And they're watching the 49ers, which is John's home team that he roots for. Oh, Christmas tree is up behind us. It's Christmas time. So I'm gonna eat my pizza, I'm gonna have some apples with peanut butter, drink some water, wrap some gifts, and then I'm going to bed. I got lots of stuff I need to do tomorrow to get ready for the rest of Christmas. Ava hurt herself at broom ball too, so. I'll have to figure that out. Kids, man. It's never ending. Oh my gosh, I ate and now I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Anyways, so John brought out all the gifts. We're going to wrap them real quick. I did get, um, like I mentioned, I got my niece that necklace. But I have six nieces and one nephew. So what I did was I got each family... A gift so my nephew actually technically gets a gift himself but he's the youngest he's the baby of the family a and he's an only child in his family so I got him a monster truck like a radio controlled one um, he's four so that'll be fun <laughs> but um, 
the other two families for my nieces, one is a set of four and the other is a set of two, I got giant Jenga because we got giant Jenga from our friends last year and it's just so much fun to play as a family. So my nephew's still a little bit too young to really get giant Jenga um, and not get super frustrated with it. So I didn't get him that. Yeah, so we got those and then again, my niece in the set of four girls is getting a necklace just because again I wanted to support Alicia and it was like the perfect timing and it's a beautiful necklace and I think uh hopefully my niece will like it but it's kind of like her 16th birthday also gift um even though it's like six months too early but whatever ant life right the rest of the gifts I've already wrapped quite a few gifts I don't know if you can see they're under the tree oh and then there's some more on that side of the box I honestly cannot remember what all I bought because stuff all started arriving at different times. <laughs> but I do know most of the stuff is Wyatt's because I didn't get his Christmas list from him until later. Uh, Kaya was the first one to give me hers. She still hand writes hers. Ava sent me a Google Doc and then Wyatt proceeded to send me a Google Doc. So, technology. So I just have these gifts to wrap, but those are all for my nephew and my dad and my niece but we got all of the kids is wrapped I'll wrap those or put bows on them later they're just so big I don't know, maybe I'll just put bows on them there's our jumbling tower I couldn't find the same one that we got from our friends but these are pretty similar they're from Target but nicer. it's a fun game that the kids and us really enjoy playing together so yeah I just need to finish the stockings Show what? I don't want to show that. No. No, I have a bowl cut. You know your ABCs. I have a bowl cut. And you one, two, three. And I'm wearing like a little home on the prairie type dress. Look, you know your numbers one through ten. John finds this ornament so freaking funny. I try to hide it every year, and he pulls it out. Um. There's a lot of my old ornaments. Yeah, this is my this is my favorite. Please, her face is actually on this tree a lot because we sent her to preschool for two years because of social issues. Not like she had social issues, but she had social anxiety, so we sent her for two years. So in preschool, you make a lot of ornaments with your faces on them. So she's got two. Oh, and there's the third one. Yeah, I think she even has one more somewhere. Yeah, so that's our. Mod Podge tree of homemade ornaments and gifted ornaments and purchased ornaments. That's how we like it, but the gifts have been wrapped. I am extremely tired, so I am going to go to bed and I will end this vlog, but yay to another vlog. I'm actually trying to be a little bit consistent, so I have two more days of work next week and then I'm on break for like two weeks, and then John took the week off between Christmas and New Year's, so... I'm excited to have some family time with just the kids and John and not having like anything to do. Like it'll be really stinking nice. So yeah. But thanks for watching guys as always. Thank you Legacy for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll leave that link to their kits underneath this video. Talk to you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching as always. Bye. Bye. Where are the dogs at? Oh yeah, they're with the kids.